It's Christmas. Yes. yes. And we're all excited. No, we're excited to uh, celebrate. We're all excited for today's Sunday for carol singing. And it's not, let's just take this time and think that it's not just about singing carols, but it's about celebrating the birth of Christ, our Lord and Savior Jesus Christ. Amen.
The reading is from Luke 2, chapter 1, verse 20 onwards. And the shepherds returned, glorifying and praising God for all they had heard and seen as it had been told them. And at the end of eight days, when he was circumcised, he was called Jesus, the name given by the angel before he was conceived in the womb. I shall read it again. There are much more verses than I was told. This is Luke chapter 2, verses 1 to 20. I'll start again. In those days, a decree went out from Caesar Augustus that all the world should be registered. This was the first registration when Quirinius was governor of Syria, and all went to be registered, each to his own town. And Joseph also went up from Galilee, from the town of Nazareth, to Judea, to the city of David, which is called Bethlehem, because he went. He was of the house and lineage of David, to be registered with Mary, his betrothed, who was with child. And while they were there, the time came for her to give birth. And she gave birth to her firstborn son, and wrapped him in swaddling clothes, and laid him in a manger, because there was no place for them in the inn. And in the same region there were shepherds out in the field, keeping watch over their flock by night. And an angel of the Lord appeared to them, and the glory of the Lord shone around them, and they were filled with fear. And the angel said to them, Fear not, for behold, I bring you good news of great joy, that will be for all the people. For unto you is born this day in the city of David a Saviour, who is Christ the Lord. And this will be a sign for you. You will find a baby wrapped in swaddling clothes and lying in a manger. And suddenly, there was with the angel of a multitude of the heavenly hosts praising God and saying, Glory to God in the highest, and on earth peace among those with whom he is pleased. Let us go over to Bethlehem and see this thing that has happened, which the Lord has made known to us. And they went with haste and found Mary and Joseph and the baby lying in a manger. And when they saw it, they made known the saying that had been told them concerning the child, and all who heard it wonder at what the shepherds told them. But Mary did treasure up all these things, pondering them in her heart. And the shepherds returned, glorifying and praising God for all they had heard and seen, as it had been told them. And at the end of eight days, when he was circumcised, he was called Jesus, the name given by the angel before he was conceived in the womb. This is the word of the Lord. Let's all be seated. We will continue our service in
Christmas is in the air and our hearts are full of joy. Let's sing our hearts out for the newborn baby boy.
John bore witness about him and cried out, This was of whom I said, He who comes after me ranks before me, because he was before me. And from his fullness we have all received grace upon grace. For the law was given through Moses, grace and truth came through Jesus Christ. No one has ever seen God, the only God, who is at the Father's hand. He has made him known.
Father in heaven, very humbly we come to your presence. Want to praise your holy name. Want to thank you, Lord, for this great time that you have given to us. <coughs> that as your children and disciple of Lord Jesus Christ, we can come together and celebrate this great commandment that you have given to us. That till you come again, we should celebrate your death in this form. <coughs> Father, when the whole world is celebrating Christmas, the birth of Lord Jesus Christ, other people may not may be knowing this, but Lord, we as believers and Christians, we know the story which started at Bethlehem ended at Calvary. And the way Father God, you given the world how you wanted Adam to live, you have given it in, in your Son, Lord Jesus Christ. And you have taught us through him how we should live, how should we behave, how should we interact with each other. And you have demonstrated the great love which you have for the humankind through Jesus. We thank you for his life, we thank you for all his teaching, and we thank you for the great salvation which we have received through his death. So Father, we thank you and praise you, Lord, when we are holding these uh, uh, elements, uh, the bread which symbolizes uh, Jesus' body and uh, the cup which symbolizes his precious blood. Lord, we thank you and praise you that, Lord, we are so blessed that we can celebrate this great thing which Jesus has done for us together. Father, bless us that we may, we may put into our lives, Lord. If there is anything which has, needs, needs to be rectified and changed, Lord, bless us to understand and ask for the forgiveness, Lord. Father, I pray for each and every one who is going to take part in this holy sacrament, Lord. Bless us to understand the great value of Jesus' death and the cross the blood is shed from his body. 